If you haven't already, head on over to part one of this video to see all of our dual signed pieces. But let's jump on over to part two of our multi-signed Star Wars autographs. Now that we've talked about all of these pieces I want to focus on that have just two signers on it, let's talk about some pieces that have more than two, but no more than five. So we're gonna have your three signers at minimum up to a maximum of five signers. So the first piece I wanna talk about here is this Mandalorian piece from the first time that Pedro Pascal signed which has him, of course, Pedro Pascal. It has Brendan Wayne and Latif Crowder on there. It is from the first signings that both Brendan and Latif did as well. So their signatures are slightly different than what they are signing right now because they've gotten better right now of signing because they've been signing for a few years. They understand the world of people collecting autographs and they've worked on making their signatures better. So you can see from this to current ones, how much better they've gotten at it. But this is still great to have because not only is it from the first season of Mandalorian and it has Pedro Pascal on it, but also it's from an important kind of time period where Mandalorian was brand new. It was super hot uh, and people were really starting to get back into the world of Star Wars and really excited about the world of Disney Plus because Disney Plus is brand new. Uh, COVID had just really hit its peak. So everybody was home and everybody was watching things and people were really collecting because they had this new universe that they couldn't go anywhere. So they were building communities with fellow people, fellow collectors. They were getting into the world of private signings because conventions were not happening anymore because they just couldn't logistically happen with what was going on in the world. And here we have this signing happening, which brought all those things together. It brought in the world of this new Star Wars property that people were falling in love with, with the world of autograph collecting exploding even bigger than it was prior to this world crazy pandemic. So it's a piece that really tells a story. Like I've mentioned a few times, having these pieces that tell a story is much more interesting than even just your run of the mill like oh yeah that just has this person on it now of course that's not to push away some big names but it does add that little little bit more to it sticking within the television shows kind of sticking with our theme here the next one here is from the final season of the clone wars and is signed by the people who have played these characters. So we have Ashley Eckstein on there as the voice of Ahsoka. We have Lauren Mary Kim as the body double who did the stunts for the scene fighting Maul in the final season of Clone Wars. And we have Sam Witwer on here who is the voice of Darth Maul in the Clone Wars. The only person who's missing on this is Ray Park. Once I get Ray Park on here, then it will be completed. So he's the last one. He's got a spot waiting for him right there when he does a signing that is easy for me to either send in or he does a signing that's somewhere that's easy for me to get to so I can just get this signed in person. So he, of course, signs. He just hasn't signed in areas where I can easily get to or he hasn't signed in a lot of times where I can send it in. So it's not as easy as he used to be when it came to that perspective. So it will get done eventually, but that's the last person to finish off this piece. Jumping into the last two pieces here for our three to five range, we have a poster. This is an 11 by 14 uh, version of the poster from The Rise of Skywalker that is signed by Adam Driver, Daisy Ridley, and Billy D. Williams. So the Billy D. Williams was actually how I started this 11 by 14. I got him in person in 2019 at New York Comic Con. And then I sent this in to the Swayu signing with Daisy Ridley and Adam Driver that happened um, in 20, 2021, I believe it was around that time uh, when that happened. If I were to go back and redo this, I would not put Billy D. Williams on here. Um, I was not really that conscious about how to properly think out multi-sign projects at the time when I did this. Now, I've been collecting autographs for over 20 years, but I never really thought about how to set up projects 
prior to becoming friends with other collectors, getting into private uh, private collecting, uh, private signings, and all those. Uh, now I know a lot more than I did five years ago, and I would do this a lot different. But I still think it looks pretty cool, um, but I would definitely do things a lot different than how I started this project. And then the last one, jumping back to the original trilogy, we have here this shot from Empire Strikes Back that has some of the ILM people that were behind the scenes in the creation of the Imperial Walkers. We have, of course, Joe Johnston, we have Phil Tippett, and we have Doug Beswick. So three people out of a whole team that was important to the creation of the Imperial Walkers. I can have some room here. It is only a, an eight by 10 uh, photo, but I do still have some room to add some additional ILM people if they do any other signings in the future out of those who are still with us that were part of this scene in Star Wars history. If you've made it this far through our video and you haven't already, why not? <laughs> like this video, subscribe to our channel, and you know what to do, hit that bell notification. That way you know ex every time we go ahead and upload new content to our channel. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's finish things up and jump into the pieces that have the most signatures out of our Star Wars autograph collection. Jumping into the last pieces we're gonna be talking about for today, and those are going to be the autographed photos that have more than five signatures. So this is five plus. So anything that kind of go up there in the numbers. We have some ones that have tons of signatures on them, but at least over five. So let's start off a little bit small and we'll start with this eight by 10 photo of Jabba the Hutt with some of the ILM people who were part of the creation and the puppeteering of Jabba the Hutt in Return of the Jedi. This is actually a piece that I won through the Star Wars Autograph Universe Facebook group. They were doing a charity auction for a um, suicide awareness project a few years ago. And this was the piece that if you donated for the cause for this charity, they were raffling off a few different pieces that people had uh, gave as part of this auction. And this is the piece that I won. So I'm really, really happy to have this in the collection. Other than that, we have an 11 by 14 shot of the final season of The Clone Wars with the poster from that final season signed by the majority of the main cast here. We have Ashley Eckstein as Ahsoka. We have Matt Lanter as Anakin. Uh, James Arnold Taylor as Obi-Wan Kenobi, uh, Katie Sackhoff as Bo-Katan, D. Bradley Baker. He wrote here as Captain Rex, but of course he's also the voice of the entire Bad Batch. Uh, and we also have Sam Witwer as Maul here on the poster. The only one that I do not have here on the poster that you see on the poster is the Martez sisters. And uh, that's... That's really, I just made a decision not to put them on there. <laughs> even though they did do a signing within the last few years, I could have put them on this poster. And even though they are on it, I just decided that I wasn't gonna add those uh, actresses to the poster just cause I just didn't really want to. <laughs> but I see this poster as complete to the people that I wanted to add to this 11 by 14. Going hand in hand with Clone Wars, we have our Star Wars Rebels poster. So this one's an 11 by 17 poster that I actually started at a convention back in 2019. So it was at the Keystone Convention in Philadelphia, and they had two different people there from Rebels, one of them being Steve Blum, who plays Zeb, um, and then the actress who plays uh, Governor Price on Star Wars Rebels. Those were the two. So those are the two that if you see on the poster here, I do have those personalized to me because that was around the time I was still getting things personalized. And then once I started doing private signings, everything's just the signature on there because I actually think it looks a lot cleaner in my personal preference. It's cleaner without the personalization. But I got everybody else through private signings. You have the rest of the ghost crew on there. Of course, like I said, we had Zeb already. We added Tia Sakar as Sabine, Vanessa Marshall um, as Hera, Freddie Prince Jr. as a Kanan, Taylor Gray as uh, Ezra, 
And then of course you have Ahsoka on there. You have Ashley Eckstein on this piece as well. And we do have David Awellolo, if I pronounced his last name correctly, as Agent Callus up there in the top left corner. So I do have a space left in the bottom right corner specifically for if Dave Filoni ever signs. I really hope he signs at some point. There's a lot of projects. There's actually one more project that I'm gonna show you here that will need him as well. Um, but this is definitely, I have a spot for him if he does ever do either a in-person signing or a private sit down signing. Speaking about pieces that need Dave Filoni added to them, we have here our season one poster, or should I say it's an 11 by 14 version of the poster, and it is the Mandalorian season one, which has pretty much the entire cast and crew of the first season. We have, of course, Pedro Pascal on here, Brendan Wayne, Latif Crowder, Giancarlo Esposito, Emily Swallow, um, Chris Bartlett, Ming-Na Wen, Carl Weathers, rest in peace, Julia Jones, Gina Carano, Nick Nolte, Werner Herzog, Omid Abti. We have a lot of different people on here. This piece is actually not in my hands right now. It is out. It was being signed by Bryce Dallas Howard. Um, I believe it's being held right now for Taika Waititi to be added to the poster. Really, once I get this poster back from the Taika Waititi signing, the only people I need left on here is Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni. And then we pretty much have every single person that is important and integral to the creation of the first season of this show. It is one of my prized possessions. I can't wait to get it back with those final people on there. And this is a piece that I don't believe that many people have. Not many people have a piece that has every one of these names on there, especially big ones like Pedro Pascal and Werner Herzog is one of those ones that not a lot of people have on their Mandalorian pieces from season one. So I'm happy to say I do have this in the collection. And then to round things out, this is the piece that kind of started all the conversation and the thought of doing this video. And this is gonna be the last piece we're talking about today. And that is another piece from the original Star Wars, what is called now, of course, A New Hope as well. And this is a piece from the cantina scene. We have a black and white shot that is signed by all the different behind the scenes people who were in the masks in the cantina scene who played the different creatures that you see in that iconic scene. Now, of course, this is one of the most iconic scenes in all of movie history, not just Star Wars history, but in all of film. This scene, not only the scenery and the creatures that you see, but the music is iconic. John Williams' score for the band, for the cantina band, is something that even people who are not Star Wars fans if they hear that music, they know they've heard it before. They know that it's from Star Wars, even if they can't specifically say what scene or what specific movie it's from, they can recognize that. That's how iconic this scene is. And you have all these different people on there. Really, the only people that are not on this photo is Anthony Daniels and Mark Hamill. Those are the only two people who are kind of front and center on the photo, but they're the only two that are really not on here represented in the photo. You even have Peter Mayhew on here as Chewbacca in the top right corner. This is from later in his life, not too long before he passed away. So it's great to have him here on this photo along with a lot of other people who were integral to the creation of this iconic cantina scene. So those were all of the different multi-signed Star Wars autograph pieces that we wanted to go through today. I really hope you enjoyed this journey as we've gone through each of these pieces, discussed a little bit of behind the scenes of these different pieces, if they have more of a story to tell, and excited to see those. Now, do you collect Star Wars autographs? And if you do, do you have any pieces that have more than one actor on it? If you do, let us know in the comments below what your personal favorite item is in your collection that is multi-signed. Thank you so much for taking some time to go through our collection, go through this journey with us, and as always, keep on collecting.